Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace with the Arkansas Times with your news headlines update for Monday, December the 5th. Governor Hutchinson announced today the establishment of the Office of Transformation to, according to a news release, drive the implementation of state efficiencies and streamline state operations. Among the tasks mentioned in the release include formulating a state strategic plan, centralizing state services, and getting more people to use online services. Amy Fetcher of Sherwood is Hutchinson's new Chief Transformation Officer. She previously headed the State Department of Rural Services and served as Deputy Director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. Senator Jason Rayford said he expected someone in the legislature to file a bill to do something about changing the name of the bill in Hillary Clinton National Airport on KARK's Capitol View on Sunday morning. Rayford then compared President Clinton to Orville Faubus, saying that while the former governor did a lot of good for the state, his handling of the Little Rock Central High Crisis left him in a real bad position. You don't see monuments to Orville Faubus around the state, Rayford said. It's orientation week for the State House of Representatives this week, and lobbyists will be buying legislatures meals and drinks all week long, despite Amendment 94 a ballot measure approved in 2014 that barred legislatures from receiving meals and gifts from lobbyists. The loophole is that the planned events have been deemed exempt from the law, which essentially means that part of the law is useless. Well, we're taking nominations for who should be the Arkansas Times 2016 Arkansan of the Year. Send yours to our editor Lindsay Miller by email at lindsay at arctimes.com or comment on the Arkansas blog. Thanks so much and read more on the Arkansas blog.